What's up guys, hope you all are doing great. In this video right here, I got something for the lazy ones, the people who wanna automate everything in their life. So I'm gonna show you different ways that you can automate your life and just make your life more easier. That's why I said this is for the lazy ones, the people who are lazy but still love to learn because at the end, while doing all these projects, for sure you also learn the basics of Python. So you know what, let's start discussing them. So the first one I'm going to talk about is email automation and email automation is really cool. When I created this project, I was really excited about it and I was really satisfied when I actually finished it. I'll leave a card for that project, but what it basically did was that it would ask you, oh, who do you want to send this email to? And this was all through voice. So I didn't write anything. I didn't even go to my email account. All I did was run the Python script and it actually asked me, oh, who do I want to send it to? What do I want the subject to be? What do I want the message itself to be? And then it would tell me, okay, it has been sent. So this is really cool. I really advise you. It's a nice beginner project. And I really advise you if you want to get into Python, if you want to get into automation, this is a great project for you. So hopefully you check that out. The second one is music automation. So I know we all love music and sometimes like creating your own playlist and also connecting it with Spotify or connecting it with YouTube or connecting both together can be very satisfying. Now let me paint you a scenario right here. Imagine you see a music on YouTube and you want it to be on your Spotify. Instead of doing that whole manual of oh, getting into Spotify and then adding it to a certain playlist, you could automate that fully with Python and you would just need to set some stuff for sure you need the YouTube API key you would also need your Spotify API key but this can be done really cool and in the description below I'll leave a link to the project of this too so you guys can check that out but this is a really great tool because everyone loves music we listen to music every day and yeah it's a big part of our lives so for sure it would be great to actually automate it too now the third one is audiobooks. I know we already have Kindle and the rest, but why not actually create your own? And you can easily do this with Python. You just use it with a PDF. So basically what it would do is it would do what Kindle does for you. So it would read your PDF out loud and it would be a voice and yeah, it's really cool, really satisfying and very little code actually. So so this is a really beginner's project, something you could do within a day if you really put your mind to it. So yeah, this is a great shout and yeah for sure check it out i might actually make this project on this channel so keep your heads up for that another thing we could also do is actually automate orders using selenium or even automate actually maybe you have something you want to buy so this is web scraping and what this is basically is that you would check and you would scrape the web for a certain information you want and I have a video for this too, where I actually web scraped a laptop that I wanted to buy. So what you would do basically is that you would scrape Amazon and you would configure it, you would program your Python code to actually make sure that whenever the price of a certain product reaches a certain level, so if it's like maybe 1000 euros, then you get an email notification telling you, oh, the price is 1000 euros or the price is below 1000 euros in case you want to buy that product. So this is a really great tool. A lot of people use this who do FBA and who do drop shipping, who also do eBay and all that stuff. So yeah, this is a really great idea. This is a really great automation idea. And for sure, you can't go wrong with this kind of projects because you're learning and you're also making your life easier. In this case, you're actually saving yourself some money. So this is a great project and for sure guys, check them out. Because all these project ideas I'm actually giving you guys here is, number one, I made sure it's not too advanced. So it's beginner friendly, it's intermediate friendly and you make your life easier, you save some money and you just save some time too, which is the whole point of actually automating stuff. So this is another one, which is a trading bot. So all the traders and the people who are interested in trading, these trading bots are really great and I have a tutorial for that. I'll leave a card for that too. But all you do is you basically create a trading strategy and you create a trading bot to actually implement that strategy. And the cool thing about this is that you could make some money. You could also lose some money too, but it's all about learning and you learn the whole algorithmic trading with Python, which is really great and it's becoming a niche of its own. It's growing every day. A lot of companies are actually implementing these trading strategies. And you know, one of the bad things about trading is the emotion side about it. So with a bot, you don't have that because even if a bot wins like four trades, it won't make a fifth or a sixth one just because it won four. But a human being, if they won four trades, it's like, oh, I won four, I might win the fifth or the sixth. And that's the emotional side about trading that makes a lot of people lose money. So yeah, a trading bot is a good, good project idea. It's a great automation tool. You can make some money, but I'll just say you can also lose money. But the whole point also is about learning. So that's why it's a great project idea. And yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, 
please leave a like subscribe to the channel and you know what i'll catch you guys on the next one